Hello and welcome to Informatica Support Video KB session. This is Sugi Narayana. In this session, I'll go over a simple utility to generate the user groups report from your Informatica security domain. The agenda goes like this. Let's go over a brief description of this utility, which will help you generate the user groups report. Usage and options description. Limitations of this utility. And I'll also go over a brief demo of this particular utility. The utility name is Get User Group Privileges. It's a shell script. It will help you generate a report containing all the users from both your LDAP and native security domain defined in your Informatica Power Center environment. You can also import this report into a, into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and it will be needed to submit a report for auditing purposes where you need to ensure the compliance on all the users and their corresponding privileges. Nothing fancy about this utility. It is simply built around the InfoCMD commands available as part of the product to generate a report of this kind. So you can always open up this utility and modify it, tweak it to your needs so that you can generate the report that you need. Usage and options description. Usage is pretty simple. You can just type the utility name and press enter. And you should see the usage displayed. I just want to go over one specific option, the dash SP option, which refers to the service privileges to be retrieved for. You can either provide the specific service name for which you need the privileges report or you can simply mention the keyword all so that the service privileges for the user on all the services defined in your domain will be retrieved. Ignoring the SP option will retrieve only the user group information. It will not retrieve any service privilege information. I have given three examples below. In the first example, I'm trying to get the users groups and the corresponding privileges on rep underscore test, which is my repository service, and dom underscore test, which is my domain. In the second example, I am trying to retrieve the privileges for all the services defined in my Informatica domain along with the user group information. The third example, I am just interested in getting the user groups information only. I want the utility to ignore the privileges part. Let's go over the limitation. It's available only on Unix, shell script. And it is applicable only for Power Center 9x versions. Let me be frank with the power, uh, performance part also. The performance is not going to be that great because we are going to issue one InfoCMD command per user. The more the number of users that you have in your Informatica security domain, the performance is going to be, you know, not that great there. How to get this utility? Please contact Informatica support so that you can get the latest version with all the changes. I'll also go over a brief demo now. As you can see, this is my Informatica 951 environment. That's my Informatica home. I have the get user groups privileges shell script copied here. And I'm just going to run this one here on top of, and I'm also going to fetch the privileges for rep 951, which is my repository service defined in my Informatica 951 environment. So now it goes in for fetching the users and the groups followed by the privileges for this group, for this user and group on rep, and rep 951, that's a repository service. It's going to continue doing that for all the users defined in your Informatica security domain. And once it completes, it's going to generate a report by name usergroups.txt. This is a flat file with tilde as the delimiter. So you can always transfer it to your desktop 
and import it using your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet with tilde as the delimiter and you can see that it's generating a coming up with a report like this where the group name is mentioned the user name is mentioned and then the user security domain is mentioned also it has retrieved the privileges on the repository service by name rep951 for each of this user i hope this report will be helpful for your auditing purposes and as you can see the utility is done fetching all the report and it is also giving you the instructions to import into, into microsoft excel spreadsheet that's about this utility i hope you liked it and thank you for watching this informatica video kb session